Guyana is a democracy. It's a country that is full of beautiful people. Peaceful people. Who have embraced the values of liberty and prosperity. And that has defended its sovereignty and its territory to all the means in international law. And we, as members of the international community, you as members of the investment community, and everybody by being here today in Guyana, is to reaffirm the sovereignty and the right of the Guyanese people against any form of threat. Your presence today is a reaffirmation of that sovereignty and that opportunity. And this is a very powerful image of what I call the exercise of sovereignty. The threats that we have seen for political reasons by the dictatorship in Venezuela, we know how, how they you play that same old, same old game just to try to shift the attention from the electorate in Venezuela considering the pressure for free elections. But I just want to say today that the Esequibo region, where Guyana has exercised sovereignty and then is defending in international courts, is a region where most of the values that I have described have been accomplished by the Guyanese people. So that also reaffirms the condition. We have to ensure that Guyana has the tools and security it needs to fulfill its potential as a truly massive producer of energy. It's of paramount importance. Guyana's energy, your natural resources, your innovation in the energy space, all of that together will deliver security to Guyanese people, just as was the case for the American energy sector. And you all know this, it's not just important for Guyana, it's vital for the region and the world as well. It's why I feel America should do what it can to advocate for and help defend Guyana's sovereignty and its freedom. It's an imperative.